I have no control with my forehand. The ball goes everywhere. Long, in the net, wide, it's, it's short, it goes everywhere. I have no control with my forehand. I have a feeling your grip is wrong, okay? You're probably holding a continental grip where with continental, the palm of the hand is more on top of the handle, okay? Um, when you're holding a continental grip, the racket, when you bring the racket back, it looks okay or it may even be a little open. And when you swing forward with an open face racket, say I'm hitting the ball in that direction now. Now as I swing forward, notice the racket face is laid back, okay? Now, I have to make a millisecond adjustment and get the racket vertical, and that also puts my wrist in an awkward position because of having the continental grip. And this is almost impossible, even for very, very extremely talented players. They'd have to practice this five hours a day to get consistent with it, okay? So if your forehand is going all over the place, you need to learn a dip, the right grip. You need either an Eastern forehand or a semi-Western forehand. Let's go through the grips right now. Okay, when we look at racket handle, okay, it's eight-sided. It's got eight flat bevels there, and we're gonna give those little flat surfaces numbers, all right? Number one on top, this little flat surface there is number two, three is on the side, four is that small bevel underneath, and five's on the bottom. Now, this is for a right-hander. It's the same exact thing for a lefty going the other way. Now, if we put an X on the index knuckle on the inside of the hand, right there, that X there and the X on the heel pad. Now, if we put those X's on number two, that's the continental grip, okay? The X's are on number two. And with number two, remember the racket is going to be slightly laid back even if you, you might be able to get it vertical but as you swing forward it's going to be open okay so what you want to do is change so turn the hand to number three which is on the side okay so when i turn my hand to number three that's an eastern eastern forehand grip and when you bring the racket back you can start to close the racket face. Okay, so this is vertical right there. And when I, this is the side I'm gonna hit the ball on. I push that side down slightly. That's called closing the racket face, okay? So when you close the racket face, that naturally gives you a nice vertical racket at contact. Now with Eastern, you may have to think about pushing the palm down a little bit because the racket is not totally closed sometimes. So see, I'm pushing my palm down right here. See, let's say this is just a relaxed palm. The racket's like that. And if I go like this, see, but my wrist is in a much stronger position now than Continental. Now, to go to semi-Western, which I recommend, you're gonna to go to number four. So if I was on three, right there, I'm gonna turn the hand a little more this way to number four. Now, when you're on number four, the racket is automatically closed. Okay, there's no guesswork. You don't have to push the palm, palm down, the racket's closed. And when you swing low to high, you're guaranteed vertical when you hit the ball every single time. So as long as, there's a, there's a caveat here, as long as you don't play around with your lower arm, okay? So drive through the ball, 
Don't move this or the wrist. Just keep it fixed. Make your swing fast from the shoulder. Once you get through the shot, so let's say that's contact right there. I drive through the shot. Now you can windshield wiper, let the wrist relax and come over your shoulder. But I can almost guarantee your grip needs some adjusting when your forehand is all over the place. There's one other thing I'd like you to focus on, and that is letting the forearm go towards your target as much as you can. If I wanted to hit the ball straight to you, I'm going to let my forearm go right towards that target and the palm of my hitting hand is going towards the target. Okay, let's say I want to hit the ball straight ahead. So I'm just gonna let that palm of my hand and the forearm go right down the middle of the court. Now, if I wanna hit the ball inside out, let's say to my opponent's backhand corner, if the ball was here, I have to get away from the ball a little bit so I can swing inside out and let that palm of my hand and that forearm go towards my target to that corner there, that add side corner. So I'm going inside out, going towards that inside out. So that's another thing, the palm of the hand towards the target. And, and when you're swinging like this, hitting an inside out forehand, you have to remember that this position here is inside. You never want to break the plane of your shoulders, okay? So this is as far as you have to bring the racket back here. You don't need to come back here, but you've got to get away from the ball so then you can drop it down. This is inside. I'm swinging out away from my body. And then that palm of the hand is going right towards that co corner. Now, if I want to hit the ball cross court, instead of having the hand inside, I may let the hand get a little outside. So now I can swing this way. Okay, so I let the hand get outside and come across more. Okay, so I'm hitting the ball a little earlier. Not much. I mean, Let's say the racket vertical and I'm hitting it straight down the line, right? All you have to do is move the racket maybe 19 degrees this way, you know, 19 degrees earlier and you've got a cross court shot. So it's not a huge adjustment. But anyway, those are the things you want to focus on if your forehand is all over the place. Please give this video a like, a thumbs up, Please subscribe to the channel, post any questions or comments below, and I'll get back to you ASAP. All the best.